Hello and welcome back guys. Welcome to another video. Today uh, we have reached uh, 600 subs. About 4 more people. We reached 600 subs. Thank you so much for all the subscribe guys. Um, appreciate all the love. Uh, anyone have questions please leave in the comments as usual. Uh, please check the timestamps for all these spots that you want to take a look into. Uh, today build is going to be a bow and arrow build. It's going to be uh, it's the thumbnail. It's going to be piercing arrow uh, shadow tag. So piercing arrow shadow. Uh, this skill is very good for beginners to um, start farming their bow and start getting you know t towards end end game content. Uh, this skill is very good at clearing maps. Uh, and uh this is a physical version guys physical version okay if you're watching the video this is a physical version um there's no um elemental version uh based on the fact that two things is going to be double maximize hit and try to build maximize damage okay so uh let's take a look into the gears And then the charms. Alright, so what I did was I took the uh, Lil and Alisa. Um, this way, you can uh, convert damage to um, element. Uh, to main element and this one increased projectile um but it, you, if you would like then you would go um uh leo and then hamal then you can get uh, all the physical damage amp and projectile amp all right and the third one is can be borrow or elisa 140 or another one is we caster okay so it can be 230, 230, 140. Uh, you get all the damage amp here, 140, okay? 8%. At least 8%, okay? So there's that one, okay? You can do that as well. Um, there's that. And we're gonna look into the relics. So I went for caster. Caster, I took the uh, physical damage amplification buff. Uh, this way you get uh, but then you take seven ten seven seven percent more damage uh, damage um, so I took the uh, sensory sensory uh, stimulation effect plus twenty percent uh, and then you you get that as well okay just make sure I get those. Yep, so you want that. So you want the uh, increase effect and lower the cooldown, okay? And then uh, another one I took is Leo. Uh, if you don't want the attack speed, then you can take the uh, practical damage here and practical speed. This is great. Um, another one would be Speaker. Lastly, it would be Speaker. You get 5% um, five ch five chance double maximized on hit. And then you get physical damage as well, okay? And I borrow for the HP. And then mastery. Mastery 1, 9, 10, 10. Uh, one here. And then all the potions. And then there, okay? And then now we look into Zodiac. So Zodiac 1. Zodiac 2. So like two, I took the physical side, the physical damage, practical damage, um, practical damage here, and then damage in here, and then um, three percent physical damage every there. Okay, so that's six. And then I took uh this one, practical damage here, and then physical damage, and then practical damage eight percent right there. 
And then I also took um, this side to get the 10% uh, physical damage, 15% damage against status effect and status rate, uh, and then I get the 5% physical damage. Okay. This. That's that one. Five. Five, I took the um, mana on hit. Um, you're going to need a lot of mana back when you on hit and you take that. Six. Six, I took um, Pierce count, just two, just two, two points for Pierce count. I don't want to take, I don't want to take Archer Rage. Um, it damages the damage, the damage a lot. So, and then I took uh, five percent Strike Amp. Okay, right there. And then I took the this one for some more crit ratings, attack speed, and damage percent. Then I went for Fang, right? So we got that one. Now we on seven, seven on for Fang on order miss. And then I went for Scent, uh, right there. And then I went for Stench right there. And I went for Dust, right here. Dust, are uh, you on raging particles? You get to ignore uh, enemy armor, and five percent physical damage. Okay, right there. And then I went for farmer. Farmer, I took uh all of this on 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 eight. I took all of this physical damage amp, uh, additional physical damage on hit, uh, the thirty percent crit damage against bleed, uh, crit rate against bleed, and then max bleed count, and then plus twenty percent damage amp on bleed damage. Okay, I took all of that right there. And then lastly, uh, three points for this to get this node. You want this one? Eight percent damage penetration. That's pretty nice. And zodiac, zodiac. I took frost for attack speed and resource redemption. Comfort mana. I went for aurora. So this give me six percent uh, to deal double my maximize damage on hit, as reduce my crit, chan uh, crit chance by five percent. That's fine. The reason why we took this. So then we have the speaker um, relic as well. So the speaker relic as well give us um, another five percent. So that's eleven percent total for free. Uh, that's not considering on your charms or anything else. And then I took acrobat and incapable for more crit rate and crit damage. Okay, acrobat is pretty nice too. If you're lower on attack speed, then you can take attack speed. But I prefer the crit damage crit rate and then acrobat for the plus two part of top. Okay. And then now we're looking to the skill breakdown. Skill breakdown. All right. The piercing arrow. Uh, piercing arrow is a physical projectile attack with shadow. Um, so you only get three things if you're a physical build. You get physical damage, you get projectile damage, and you get the shadow attack, which is you can use the shadow rune. Okay. Now, since this skill, uh, <coughs> basically you get. Um, three pierce, pierce counts to begin with okay uh and the reason why you get three is because you get one from the uh, zodiac on uh six uh where uh, where you get the uh, plus one so that's three and you must use pierce rune pierce rune you want to awaken to uh to a source so you get additional one more pierce so now total pierce is seven the skill and the zodiac give you three. The piercing give you uh, four. So that's total of um, seven. Okay. So how this how this runes work is that you gain five percent five percent damage amp per piece count, so meaning seven times five that's thirty five percent damage amp. Uh, and and then you also gain a ton of damage amplification from the rune and 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 that's pretty good rune right there to use okay so this skill bleeds and you do 30% more damage against bleed enemy and it has a 20% chance of bleed okay that's why you want to take the zodiac on 5 4 to increase the status effect the, the so then it status chance so that uh status rate so that you can proc more bleed okay effectively
so the uh, welcome back and now the awaken you want would be the source reason why we're going to take source is you gain first of all 50% strike damage max at max value 5% damage uh, against elite that's max value that's good now the main thing that you want is the 6% damage amplification per pierce so if you have 7 pierce 6 times se uh, 7 7 pierce uh, 6 times 7 you, you get about 42% damage ma and more on top of the pierce skill okay uh, so that's the best one right now you want to use that and then of course mana stone uh multi multi shot okay with the uh multi shot effect shadow shadow i've awakened for the uh source so this summons uh an additional shadow uh on top of your skill so you're getting uh summon one shadow archers archer or archers on skill use uh plus give the attack speed double shadow archer effect uh so you're getting twice as much okay Three times, three times. Uh, you get three times as much. Yep. So there's that. Um, if you don't like it because of the low chance and your attack speed is low and you can't see the proc on it, then you can go to Verdi. Verdi is perfectly fine. You get more projectile, uh, but the skill has 11 projectile already. Uh, you get 50% damage amp. That 50% damage amp. Is it gonna be equal to one more shadow attack? Uh, so you gotta consider that as well. So uh, source to me is the uh, best option. Okay. And then strike. And then uh, amplify physical projectile damage. Okay. I work in source, so I get extra projectile damage. This is the other one that you want. And then I run uh, illusion arrow. Illusion arrow. I convert uh, to fire to stack fire energy. And then uh, the counter attack, I stack physical um, energy, and then thunderbolt, I do lightning, lightning proc, uh, extract energy, lightning, uh, and then at the same time get shock uh, as well. So, so crit, so the domain, trick shot for movements, so condensed source turn to buff, uh, awaken source turn to buff, uh, marksman, marksman here give three percent, three plus three pierce counts more so that's 10 pierce count so once once you use uh, marksman so you gotta multiply you got seven plus three that's ten you get ten ten times six uh, from the um ten times six you get sixty percent increase and when marksman is on um and then your your pierce rune uh multiplier count per pierce so that's additional fifty percent more damage amp and then the skill awakening uh, give yourself another six percent per pierce as well, so that's a huge boost when you use Markman. And then Markman, I link with with totem. And you can go from there. Uh, and then you get this two totem. And then this is for like anything that hit me from far away. Uh, and then the text be and then there right there. Okay. All right. Now that sets the zodiac, the skills breakdown. Now let's get into some mapping. This this is one forty five, one forty three. I make sure I get everything on, and uh, we we make sure this is on on projectile. There we go. So anything that's far away that's gonna hit me, so it's gonna be reduced. Okay, and we just go. Uh, this skill is really good for beginners, um, to use to farm and to excel in mapping uh, and so you can clear quickly and then uh, you don't have to spend so much time in a map right and then once you get on you to your, once you get into your end, end game kind of um, build that you want uh, then you can swap it out and switch it out okay uh, again this this skill, this skill is still very well very very well well used for beginners uh, it's so easy it appears a lot um compared to you know other physical bow skill okay you can use you can use um rubbish spread shot spread shot you need pierce as well um so this is also a pretty good skill
again guys uh please like subscribe hit the bell for notification and uh if you like the content please sub I'm trying to reach that 1k sub um if you guys have any questions please leave in the comments i'll try to get them as soon as i can or give you guys some ideas of where to find the information that you need uh, on the on the on the on the stuff that you need to know and learn um this channel is basically on about uh build and trying new builds and testing new stuff um so it's not much of like what you want to look for if you have something you want to look for please leave in the comments uh all right that's the build give it a try uh let me know what you guys think uh again shadow archer builds right now is pretty pretty good uh, have fun with this one season guys uh have a good one